Hey everybody. Have you missed us? I can't see. This is it's on Mark. Oh. Okay. There you go. Hi. This fantastic little song is Bon Appetit from Donna Britton Dukovich and Ross Ornstein. From our movie, Turnover. Now. I know you guys miss us. We haven't been here in a while. It's yes. been, what have we been doing? Screwing around? Making, well, <laughs> no, we've that. been, we've See, been. Now, I, if I, I would have got in trouble if I said that. Um, tonight we're making something that we have fallen in love with. It is, why are you hiding behind my head? You're hiding. Um, we're okay. making okay. chicken mushroom herb. Well, I'm going to call it delight, but it's like this dish that you put over rice or pasta. And just so you know, I fell off the wagon and I'm not. No, he's drinking my Diet Coke. What do you, what, but what are we having with our chicken mushroom herb delight? Well, to start with, I'm going to open up a, a Dow Chardonnay. That's from Paso Robles. But more importantly, it's from our, my sister from another mother, AJ. That would be AJ. AJ and Dale. She just got back from the rock boat where there was like, I don't know, 3,000 people on the boat, all adults, no kids. Um, and Mark's she, kind of boat trip. Yeah. <laughs> and she like met all of them and liked all of them. Except like all of the musicians? Well, all the bold ones. Anyway. Don't give away your secrets. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> to, to AJ. Make, yes, to AJ. To make our dinner, Wait, I'm going to show you what we need. Hold it. Okay, fine. That was mine. Yeah, because it's called Wine, Food, and Fun with Linda and Mark. See our back drop way back uh, there? With a wine, Food, there, and Fun. Let me get out of the way. I, I did. Anyway, Wine, Food, and Fun. I'm going to have to redo the sign because it has a bunch of like grease stains and spots on it. Oh, is that what that was? <laughs> Toast. Toast to all of you. Friends of ours. Oops. Now, for That's the fun. Good. All right, so what are we making? Uh, for, okay, first I have to give credit where credit's due. This delicious dish is from Natasha at Natasha's Kitchen. How do you know if you are alive? It says right there, alive. Oh, uh, versus like zombie, where it says dead? Yeah, exactly. And your head like spews blood and guts? Oh, all right. Nak Nakasha, Nakasha, Natasha's Natasha. kitchen. So this we dish we got from there when we were like researching fun food to eat, and it is so good. I have to tell you, Mark hates mushrooms, but he actually said he loves this dish. It's one of his favorites. So this is what you need: you need chicken tenders, salt and pepper. You need dill. Green onions, parsley, garlic, lots of mushrooms. Oh, that is seriously awesome. No vampires You need tonight. some heavy cream, salt and pepper. See our dish in the back? Oh, am I going to lose my phone? Uh, big pan, butter. Are you going to lose your phone? No. And we're going to have this. You can have it with pasta or just by itself with some bread. We're going to have it with... Rice. The 90 second rice because Jasmine we are. Jasmine rice. Totally. We're not into that good of cooking from stock. So turn the oven on, Mark. Turn the, oh, oven, the on. oven on. I mean, the, I'm sorry. The stove top. Look how nice it is outside. That's a, actually a beautiful kind of sort of sunset. It's a little past magic hour. I'm surprised the new edition isn't up here. Yeah, when our new edition comes, we'll show you. His name is Dex, after our project cat Dex. Hillary, by the way, came up with that name. How much? Brilliant name. About a tablespoon. Uh, about tablespoon. a tablespoon. Not very much. About a tablespoon. A uh, tablespoon of olive oil. Right there. Right there. This is for. That's a for, teaspoon. No, no, no. That's a tablespoon. This is How just for cooking the mushrooms. Oh. Sauteing the mushrooms. Here. That's hardly... We have one eye on us. One, one eye. eye. Look at one eyeball is looking at right. us. Right here, one eyeball. Here. <laughs> okay, you are so weird. Whatever. You married me. 
I'm not letting you go oh, to Oh, and um, put a tablespoon of butter, which is right over there. I'm not letting you go to the gummy store anymore. I didn't go anyway. Here. Mark is being weird. Of what? course, anybody that knows Mark knows that he is weird. So that's a you put about a tablespoon of butter. That's not a tablespoon. It is. No, that's a that teaspoon. That is. That's a... A tablespoon is bigger than a teaspoon, Mark. I know. Just that was a teaspoon. That's I'm a teaspoon. Wine. Hope our cat doesn't come up and jump on our chicken. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but how many of you have a Maine Coon? He's a little Maine Coon kitty. We think actually he was starving yeah. when he, we, um, he was found by the animal people. Lenora! Hi, Lenora! Hello, nice Lenora! We're, why is it echoing? Echo. Know. Room There's tone, a... room tone. Oh, we're getting room tone. <laughs> There's it's, a big God, echo. It is totally echoing. But, I, but? Know, I don't know why. Anyway, we got this little Maine Coon. And we think he was starving because literally every time we take food out, he literally eats all the food. The other cats are losing weight now. And he's crazy, oh. jumps on the... Oh, here he is. Here he is. No, jumping up here. That's fire. Hello, little one. Can you say hello to the people? That's Dex. <laughs> he's like, I want to give them my kisses. Give him a kiss. A kiss. Dex. All you're getting is his tail. I know. Dex, look up. Look up. Anyway, that's the cat. <laughs> Got a couple of likes out of that one. What? The cat. Oh, so once this is hot. Of course you're going to get likes. Nobody likes us, but put a kitty in there. Wow. I know. <laughs> mushrooms. You stick the mushrooms in. I thought I was doing the cooking. Oh, yeah. Mark's doing the cooking. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Brian. Brian's watching Brian Von Eggers. Oh. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. I thought it was the other Brian. No, it's not our other Brian. So you put the mushrooms in there. Normally... Because I know Mark doesn't like mushrooms, I cut them up in smaller pieces. Yeah, this is fungus. Yeah, that's a, those are pretty big pieces. So Mark's probably going to sit here and cut them in half yeah, like, as he cooks, and even right. probably more than in half in smaller pieces. Because when I cook them, I try See, and cut them so okay. they they get mixed in, and he doesn't actually realize he's eating a fungus. Okay, so this is this is sort of the tomato. I hate tomatoes, but I love tomato. I paste, love salsa. Puree, salsa. This is our problem. Look what the cat is doing. He's getting on our counter. He won't stay off our counter. And all your dog lovers are out there. Oh, kitty, can you knock this off? We are trying to cook here. We're having a cooking show. And you're being a little bit annoying. If you continue this, you're going to have to go in the extra room where your cat tree's at. It's like... Sure, Mommy, put me in my room. I love my room. I want to go to my room. For anyone that doesn't know that, that was out of a movie, one of our favorite movies. Uh, City Island. I highly recommend it. How small have you cut your mushrooms up? I, I'm getting there. Are they supposed to be cooking? Yeah. I don't think you have enough oil in there. No, they're cooking. Okay. Yeah, it takes about... This, this particular part actually takes about 10 minutes for the mushrooms. So we have to entertain you for 10 minutes. Yeah, you have to listen to us. That's why I was playing with the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm restraining myself. This is so hard. You have no idea how hard it is. I know it is hard for you, Mark. <laughs> she keeps oh, giving me these setups. I do I that. I am the setup queen. I totally know how to set him up, and he gets a he gets a zinger in there, and they're always, you know, if you've watched our show, they're naughty zingers. They're not naughty. Hey. Oh, there he is again. He's back. He's a naughty cat. Cat, can you like go go to your room? Go to your room, cat. Look. This is so special. <laughs> She's trying to communicate with a cat. How's it going over here? It's going good. They're smelling delicious. Let me put on the, the smell. No, no, we don't want to do that because people won't be able to hear us. Sorry, didn't oh. mean to like do that, like trying to fight Mark off over here. He wanted to turn the fan on and that doesn't work for us. So we just shot one of our um, shorts. Oh. Laugh That's with true. Lillian. Laugh that with Lillian. Yeah. Uh, by creator and actress Alina Madison who is amazing in it 
and her, obviously her lovely daughter Lillian, which is why it's called Laugh with Lillian. It's now an award-winning show. Yes. It's won three Not the one that we are just shooting because we're not done with that one yet. But the other one that we shot. Yes, the first one. It's been in some, this is why we've been gone because we've been going to festivals for that. We've been going to festivals for civil disobedience. But um, we maintain our six feet. Yes, the festivals have been very good about socially distancing. And so at the festivals, um, Laugh with Lillian and Civil Disobedience have been winning. Thank you, Lenora. She said congratulations on our festival wins. So on, so we just shot our second one. Now we're getting ready to finish our pilot. I know it sounds weird. You think the pilot comes out first. But um, we shot part of the pilot, Samaritan, the Samaritan. No, but only on the right side. So he can still fly the airplane with his left arm. We're not talking mentor pilot. You shot the pilot. <laughs> anyway, our pilot is called the Samaritan. It is our um, signature piece, and we're filming the second half of it um, in about a month on actually December 11th. And so we're gonna shoot in Long Beach. It's gonna be really cool. We're shutting down the street. Look how good these mushrooms are looking. Those are like almost, and look how small Mark made them. I'm sure they're gonna be teeny little pieces soon. <laughs> actually, so I don't know hard. about you guys, but how many people love the mushroom taste? Like, you. No, no, you actually said in anything that has mushrooms in it, you really love the taste as long as you don't know it has a mushroom in it. Like right. you don't see it like or the, taste a giant the, mushroom. It's the tomato, which I don't I know, like tomato. That's what I'm saying. I'm asking our friends, who likes mushrooms? I love mushrooms. Our tree-hugging fungus people. I could put mushrooms in everything. Really? Yeah. You mean if I put a couple of mushrooms? No, you know what? Can you get a bowl out? You're being the small, one of our small bowls, white ones in there. The, um... Because the mushrooms don't need a big bowl. Yeah. The, this size? Yes, that's the perfect size, Mark. I can't not believe that he's sitting there. Oh, that's because you pulled them up. Right? Oh, did I? Oh, yeah. So that he wouldn't be so annoying, we had to... Eleanor is having pizza. We had to feed him earlier. He was going crazy like he was on crack or something. We gave him some tuna fish. Seriously. And then he ate a bowl of dry food. And I think now he's just processing it. So, how long have we been talking? I'm doing almost like a Kevin McCarthy, how he was in Congress and he talked for eight and a half hours. But not quite. <laughs> Because, yeah, it's politics stuff. yeah, because Kevin McCarthy's an idiot. Oh, Everyone knows there you it. Go. And oh, hello, congratulate! Oh, first of all, happy belated birthday to President Biden, and congratulations! They passed their new bill that's like I don't know two trillion dollars, and it's gonna help everybody. So there's that. The libs are hard at work. Okay, that's enough of my politics. <laughs> I'll get the rest tonight. No, what else are we... So I got a bunch of hearts off that. What else are we doing here? Oh, so I'm, once we have this... You can take those out. Take the mushrooms. Are, they're still hard. Are oh, they really? supposed to be soft? Uh, no, because they're going to cook a little bit more. Oh. So take those out and put them in the bowl. But leave the, mm. leave the heat on. Because the next thing we're going to do gonna is blaze. we're going to take our chickens. And we're going to put these salt and peppered chicken... In and we're gonna cook them. These are chicken tenders, and what you should do is salt and pepper both sides. And I did this before, so it's gonna go a little bit faster. These cook for about, um, I'm gonna say four minutes per side. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna put just a little bit more olive oil in here. Fine, give me the olive oil. Olive oil. I was gonna put butter in. By you the way, does anybody watch the British just a baking bit. show? Oh, we'll get to that. That's it. Yes, the British Baking Show. We're like on the one where they're in the finals now. And we have Giuseppe, the Italian. And then we have um, Chiggs, who also looks Italian. But I think maybe he might be Argentinian or something. Um, and then we have the girl. What's the girl's name? Christine? No. Um, um. I can't remember the girl. Anyway, and she, I think, I, I want to say, is um, 
Middle Eastern? Yeah, or yes, Middle Eastern. Mediterranean? Mediterranean. Yeah. Anyway, so. That's really good. The horrible part was there was this guy that got like Star Baker. His name was Jurgen. He was like German. Three times. Like three or four times. And he got, he went home yesterday. We were so sad about that. Anyway, this is heated up. Now take your chicken, Mark, and put your chickens in. And then they're going to go in for um, about three minutes each side. Put the timer on. Oh, okay. Timer. Timer. Put a three minutes. Hope that's right. This goes so fast at this point. I mean, after the three minutes on each side, that yeah, it's super fast. One rice is going to be enough. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right. And you want to turn out this, the little snappers. I was just going to Jesse Wadros is watching. Jesse what? was our. Jesse. Jesse. Jesse, Jesse. Was, Jesse. Look at all those hearts. Thank you. Jesse Thank you. was just working with us on LWL. She is like amazing. She's our still photographer. And in this last episode, she was also our. Second AC. Where's my wine? How come I don't have my wine? She did the clapper better than any clapper. <laughs> Jessie's the clapper queen. Second AC. For those of you who do not know <laughs> anything about film, the film Slate, where they write all the stuff on it, is called a slate. Or a clapper. And, or for a lot of people, clappers. And then what happens is on the set, the second AC uh handles that and says what take we're on what scene we're on so yeah jesse took that over and did a bang up job we loved and, and then became annoying like a uh, wedding photographer trying to get everybody to get <laughs> photographs but... well because jesse's an amazing still photographer of course and she's also a poster designer artist all right so enough, that. enough about her what about us <laughs> <laughs> sorry jesse Mark always has to make it about him. What? Not me. Look at that's how the chicken's doing. Chicken tenders. This recipe is so amazing. I cannot even tell you guys how yummy this is, and it's so fast. Like, so we have our cooked mushrooms that Mark made sitting over there waiting. And we have our spices, which are oh, gonna go in soon. Oh my god. We haven't toasted anybody in a while. And you're what are we gonna toast? Um um, we're going to toast. What are we toasting? We're toasting, um, what do you want to Thanksgiving. Toast? No. Thanksgiving's coming up. What are you guys doing that, for Thanksgiving? That, that, that's a, uh, white supremacist racist, uh, holiday. Mm -hmm. That's what, the, the, Well, that is, I mean, no, Thanksgiving's about giving thanks for where you're at. Now, granted, the Pilgrims started it after they stole the Native Americans' land. <laughs> so... As a, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> See how what I have to deal with it. Not as wrong as that last verdict. Uh, oh my god, I don't even want to go there. Everyone in America is like angry about that. But you, we won't no, go there. You gotta look at the good side. You got an AR-15 out of it. Ridiculous. <laughs> I am not vicious. Jesse said toast to good friends. That's a great toast. Toast. To to good friends. To, to good, good friends. friends. Oh, it's time to turn work. him over, Mark. We're gonna turn him over. And I'll put another. I'll put four minutes on this side. No, you can do three. These are gonna. They're looking. Oh, look really at those! Good. Those look delicious. This is gonna go so fast, everyone. And we can attest, this is like such an amazing recipe. And got to do another shout out, Natasha's Kitchen. So there, so lately, during the pandemic, things changed for a lot of people. So like during the pandemic, we decided that we were going to start looking for things to make, to make our, at least our dinners a little, oh, yeah. <laughs> a little more interesting. <laughs> Because literally, we used to always eat like salmon and steak. I'd have a salmon and steak. Out. Well, no, I'm saying during the pandemic. That's what oh, we were eating. We literally yeah. were eating salmon and steak all the time. I, so thought, then, I thought it was uh, margaritas and well, bottles of wine. Yeah, bottles of wine and margaritas. So then what happened was we're like, we can't keep doing this. So we started looking for things we could make. And then we started like going on YouTube, which, hello, shout out to YouTube. Amazing. You can learn anything on YouTube, which we've learned filmmaking. 
and, and yes, y'all know I've been making films since 1997. I should probably already know about filmmaking, but... Yeah, we're, we're, we're learning this. <laughs> we're learning, because we had to learn how to shoot and how to edit. We didn't do that before we hired people. So, cheers to you, Lenore. Anyway, so... Where were you going with it? You too. So we learned how to make all these recipes, and then because the pandemic was going on forever, we decided to start, and we missed our friends, we started this little silly channel. Look at Jesse's going hearts and hearts and hearts. And... How are you doing that, Jesse? I don't even know. It's like a fireworks show of Jesse's hearts. Right. Anyway, so. I'm getting, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? What's that? Squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel. So then what happened was we found these great people that, like, we make a ton of their food, and Natasha's Kitchen is one of them, yeah. which is what this recipe Who's is. Uh, well,. Chef John, Chef John, obviously Chef John, amazing food wishes. And then who's, and then, the, who's the idiot? I mean, not the idiot. No, the guy that's in San Diego, yeah. not not taco guy. Yeah, the yeah, not taco guy. Yeah, God, what's his name? I can't remember. I just know not not taco. Like, he has some. He has of the, the glasses. Oh wait, he makes <laughs> the weirdest recipes. Jesse's doing heart. She's like, I press the heart, heart, heart. Well, you're amazing, Jesse. You're making us feel like we're loved. Oh, you gotta watch this because you cannot put cooked oh, chicken fine. back onto a plate that has raw chicken. Hmm. It looks like I have something on my phone screen, like I don't know, grease are you, maybe. Are, are you like looking at the? No. Okay, so when we're about here, we want to put our garlic in. Garlic. So we have about a minute left. I'm gonna take that off. Take your garlic and put the. Spread the chickens out because we want to put the garlic in the middle. Ooh. And now, no, just spread them to the edge and put the no. garlic in the middle. No, the edge, the edge, yeah. And then put the garlic in the I middle. Do what I have to go And then, garlic then the kind of cook that up, spread it around. Okay, you only cook, more. you only cook garlic for maybe thirty seconds. Yeah, and and, and if it. Yeah. So then oil. spread spread it around. No, you put butter in this time. At this time, put butter in. We're gonna put a little bit more butter in because I think it needs it. Mark does too. Okay. The thing with garlic is um, that we found out is it can go from perfect to bitter Super in fast. microseconds. Yeah. So and want... we use garlic in everything. I'll turn it down a little. Yeah. Okay, so once you do that, oh, God, that's smelling good. I know it smells so good right now. Mm. So then, no vampires too naive. Now put the mushrooms in. Oh, the mushrooms. Put the mushrooms back in. On top of the garlic. Yep. And now you start mixing it around, oh. and you start cooking them up. Ow, cooking them up. Ow, 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 what are you doing? Ow. I'm burning myself. Oh, why are you doing that? Because I thought it would be fun. And now you mix everything around. Probably turn the chickens over because some of them are browner. Oh, Looks look how delicious. And then start adding your spices. Who doesn't love dill? Oh my gosh, I love dill. It's one of my favorites. Here, add your dill, Mark. What are you doing? Don't put your finger on the stove. Why? Put That's the dill a lot over. Of dill. I know. It's called herb chicken. Here. Jesus Christ, that's Here. Here, what, what's put that? green onions. Put green lemon. onions. Why aren't you complaining about how many green onions it is? Uh, and no, parsley. No. Parsley. Okay, way too much parsley. No. You use one from the no, 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 no. This is, and then what you do is you put your cup of cream in. Oh, a cup of so, heavy cream. And that's going to deglaze the thing. We want Look that. at that. Yum. That looks so delicious. Are you gonna do the rice? Oh yeah, I'm gonna start the rice because this will cook maybe about... Two minutes? No, it cooks about four minutes. Four minutes, okay. But I'll do the rice. Because, and even though it says 90 second rice, oh, Mark, I need you to open it. Okay. It says 90 second rice, but since we're putting two of them in, we're gonna put it in for two minutes. And that should give it enough time for it to start Okay. Um, getting a little creamier that here. Like a, what, here, you, all you need to do is just see this little, see one. a little hole right here. Okay. Oh, right okay. there. Sure. Mark, you're doing it wrong. Oh, fine. Just pull the little hole on the side, and that opens it. Yeah, not I the whole way. That. Not the whole uh, way. Oh my gosh, he's ruining it. Here. here. 
It's just a little bit. You don't take the whole thing off. This is going to be a problem. I'm telling you right now. Okay, just, Mark what? doesn't know how to do the rice. Are you going to turn it on? I, I need the other one. Oh, you no, only want one. one. Mark decided we're only having one rice. That's what I said. So we'll do one minute. One minute on the rice. Oh, wait. It says 90 seconds. I have to do 90 seconds. One minute and, and a half a minute. Yeah, yes. one minute and a half a minute. How does the... How's the creamy chicken stuff coming along? Doesn't that look delicious? We have to probably put some salt and pepper in. Oh, salt and pepper. Yeah, just salt and pepper in. Just a little bit. Wait a minute, is this even? Yeah, no, no, you're doing it the right way. Oh, yeah. So salt, so pepper it. Pepper it more. I like more pepper. Okay, I like more pepper too, so. A little bit of salt, a little sea salt. Sea salt. Okay, that's enough salt. Oh, see how it's bubbling up? It, that means it's getting creamy. So we're gonna do this it for was, about six minutes. It was creamy. Jesse says you can cover satan, satan, satin wrap on the rice to keep the steam in. Hmm, that's an interesting thing. But we're not gonna serum. <laughs> Sarin. I was wondering what that was. It was like Satan. Sarin. <laughs> Sarin, that's not Satan. That's poisonous. Right? Anyway, here, our rice is done. Look how well, yummy that looks. It's steaming. Get us a, a couple of bowls out, Mark. I'm getting a couple of bowls. Oh, my God. Meanwhile, I'll come over here and look at this chicken dish. Oh, it's looking yummy. Chicken, mushroom with all those nice herbs. I can't tell you how good this tastes. Amazing, and it's super fast. I mean, other than the like ten minutes it takes to oh yeah, so make, it's the, the preparation. And the so how did you do the? How did you prepare the chicken tenders? Oh, I all I did was I took them and I just salt and peppered each side. But did you start with a chicken breast and cut them up, or did no, no? I mean, if you just have a chicken breast, you could just cut it up in little pieces. But, you but I chicken. actually bought chicken tenders because that's what Natasha this? says. Natasha says to buy chicken tenders. From McDonald's? Or? No, these are not McDonald's. These are She's from the gross, the grocery store. Oh, that looks so good. Seriously, can't tell you how good this meal is. So we, now we have, so we're going to put all the rice in one bowl, and then we're going to split it up. That's our rice. I know it doesn't look totally appetizing like that. Now, I would be excommunicado from Hawaii because nobody would ever think to use 90 second rice in Hawaii. Why are we even talking about Hawaii? Because we're going to Hawaii? Yeah. Oh. So I like to take it, see how it came out in a clump? I like to like mix it up so it looks like I made it like in a rice cooker. See, now it looks better than just coming out of a package. <laughs> Oh, it's all about image. But seriously, all it is is 90 second jasmine rice. Woo. So I'll put this one back because we'll use it some other time. And then I think, I think we're almost ready to eat. Mark? I don't know. We are. Is it done when it's gravy or what is Yeah, it? it's looking delicious. Well, you have. So here, time to, time to. You had five more minutes on there. Oh, do we? I don't have five more minutes. I don't know. Does it look creamy enough? No. Okay, we'll cook it. We're going to cook another three minutes because it doesn't, it isn't quite as creamy. Like, we want it to be creamy. Like, saucy. Saucy, creamy. Gravy. Gravy, creamy. Gravy, creamy. Right now it's, but you can't let cream do this, Mark. On cream, you have to constantly stir it. See, it's thickening up, but it's still a little. Throw a little. No, you don't do anything. Cream okay. will turn into cheese. Mmm, that looks delicious. Everyone's like, oh my god, that looks yummy. It does, doesn't it? It's like, this is the most delicious, fast meal. Not as good as your tortilla soup, but very fun. Okay, had, who has seen the tortilla soup recipe? Uh, if you haven't seen the tortilla soup recipe. It's a good one. It is the best. It's super Absolute, good. Seriously. The best. And Mark has this proud boy moment. Oh no, it wasn't the proud boys. What was the? Yeah. No, the Boogaloo Boys. Boogaloo Boys. <laughs> he calls out the Boogaloo Boys in our tortilla soup recipe. Which was? 
<laughs> That's when we didn't know how to make the camera work correctly. All right, but I turned it around. around. So, like, on our YouTube channel, which, by the way, everyone, if you want to see old recipes, you can go on our YouTube channel, and all of our recipes are there, so you don't have to try to find them on Facebook, which is annoying. So, yeah, all of our recipes are there. We have a guest chef. One, my good friend Sean L. Cherry and her husband, Mike. Anyway, they came out. They made a super yummy chicken recipe. So, look at how it's thickening up. That's, I think, a couple more minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Because you do want it to have that gravy consistency. This is like the steak Diane. I mean, steak Rebecca. Steak Rebecca? Yeah. Why did you call it steak Rebecca? Because steak Diane. I can't do Diane because that was my ex girlfriend that's another recipe i highly recommend everyone yeah. take a look at the steak so, rebecca steak because rebecca. there is pyrotechnics in it yes i almost burned down the house it was fun it was actually like there was a fireball in our kitchen yes so i hope you all are having a wonderful meal tonight with your loved ones this is really looking good look at that it's getting creamier I think maybe a couple more minutes. What do you think, Mark? Uh, another minute. Sounds good. Another okay. minute. And then this is what we're doing. Hillary's watching. Hillary, we gave you a shout out because our little cat that you helped us name literally is a psycho. But anyway. <laughs> but totally psycho. What are we going to do after we get our food made? Uh, we're going to go watch. Downton Abbey. We're in the sixth sixth season i know this is really old it's been out for forever but we hardly ever get to watch tv and once we do we like get stuck on it so we have binged the downton abbey series and we're on the season six which is the end which i think lenora says they're filming something near i was thinking what is downton abbey about um a it's bunch a, of aristocrats it is but honestly, what it ends up being is it's about the downfall of the lords and ladies. The lords and the ladies? Yeah, Lord Grantham, Lady Grantham. The lords and ladies in the series, Down Abbey, it's about the downfall of the oh, lords the and ladies. Yeah, the aristocracy. The aristocracy. It's the downfall. Say that three times fast. Aristocracy. Hi, Hillary. Look at how good our little delicious meal is coming now out. Now it's looking. Oh, that looks oh so delicious. We're about ready to eat. Too bad you guys don't have smell o vision smell o vision is the best. It is so good. <laughs> oh, by the way, Bye. happy Thanksgiving to everyone, because we're not going to see you before then. We really miss you all. Yes. We hope you have a wonderful time with your friends and family. And we, and we will be back. We'll be back. I have made Mark commit to we'll try and do this a little more often and i don't even know the last time that chanel and mike were here was in september right and, and now it's november there will be cracked nachos on the soon cracked yes, nachos crack nachos the yeah. best i know jesse's like we need smell o vision everyone needs smell o vision so with that guys we're about ready to go and eat our meal wait a minute let me turn this off turn it off okay oh and wait why don't you serve it up first yeah serve it up before we say you goodbye, show what it looks like yeah, over the rice. we made some rice. You can't just like here. Leave them. Yeah. In here, suspense. I'll put the stuff away, and you dish it up, Mark. Dish up. I'm dishing it. Oh wait, here he this. Oh my God. Oh, where's the other one? That, where's the other one? What? The other spoon that has everything here. Right. Use the bait. Oh, it's up in the bedroom. Do you see what I have to do with? <laughs> Ridiculous. This one that you can get the gravies out. Oh. Not. Sorry. Not. By the way. The spatula. For all those people that, this is a um, dollar store thing. And this is the. Oh my God. Little... You know how all those cooking shows and everyone like trying to sell something? We're not selling anything, but all we're saying is that we went to dollar store and these are one of the best things that we bought. It's yeah, like you a... put your spoons in it, you know, while you're cooking. And... But we're going to take it away from this yellow light from the stove. And Mark, bring it over here. We're going to bring it under the... Oh, first, I got to say... Blue light. Hello. Eat a boy. Cat. Blue light special. Dex. Dixie. <laughs> here we are. On... And, and guess what? You don't even need to garnish this. You don't because it's got so many yummy herbs in it. And you put... 
the gravy over the top of it. You can do rice, pasta. You can even just, if you d can't eat the carbs, you can just have it by itself. Put, put, put it uh, over, what's that, that um, tofu? Sure, tofu. Or what's that uh, shit that they, I'm sorry, what's that stuff that, uh, what is it? Granola, not granola. Uh, stuff made with kale. No, you're not going to stick it on salad. <laughs> Who, what is, I don't even understand that. Look at, okay, put it. Get the gravy out. There's an extra chicken you left in there. Yep. And we're about to watch Downton Abbey. Oh, wait a minute. We have to take a taste of it because otherwise... We never taste it. Yes, we Are do. you going to taste it? Yeah. Okay. It's you, it's up to Mark to taste it this time. when you tasted the... Uh, what were we making where you tasted the... the spicy fish cakes. Oh, God. The spicy, the we, spicy okay. fish cakes. You have to you, watch that episode. <laughs> it's worth watching that episode. The spicy fish cakes was hysterical because we made it. It's a Gordon Ramsay recipe. And what happened was I literally... You made the... the I made the sauce, sauce. Exactly the way they said. Like they said. And I tried it. And then what happened, it was not exactly like they said it was going to be. It was, it was actually really gross. Really and I gross. totally spit up, like, right on the cooking show. It was gross. But then everyone told us how to fix it. Yeah. Put horseradish in it. It'll horse fix everything. Horseradish fixes everything. So, Mark, are you ready? Are you ready for your taste test, Mark? I'm ready of for my taste test. The get your knife. Get I your get knife. my knife. And he's going to... I have a knife and a fork in. Okay, he's going to cut into it. Oh, that's tender. Gonna, yeah, it's oh a chicken God. tender. It's, it's, no, seriously. It's a chicken tender. It is. A small piece so I'm you don't burn yourself. Small. With some so, mushroom sauce. Oh, yeah, mushrooms, because mm. Mark hates mushrooms. Mm. What do you think? Oh, wow. Is it good? Is it as good as when we made it? Yeah. It's really good? Like you're, And with that... Where's our wine? Thank you, everyone. It was super fun seeing everybody. you tonight. Mm -hmm. See you next time. And we'll try not to be so long. Happy Thanksgiving. So long. Bye.